Let's do a little exploring with Zoho Forms. Zoho Forms can be embedded on websites or they can be used as a standalone. Here we have one form that I've created here in the demo. And this is how it looks. All right, it's just a contact us and this is how it looks in the back end. So when you first create a form, you'll have options here. You can use any of these types of fields, drag and drop them over, make sure you give it a title, the description is optional, and then the placement of the label. When you click on each field, you'll have a few details, it just depends on the type of field. Here we want to make sure that they do indeed enter a first and a last name so we're making those mandatory. You can hide or disable fields and then you can mark them as personal or encrypt them. Now you do not need to use this form if you're needing to take payments. Um, you, there are other Zoho tools that you can use for taking payments. You don't want anyone to enter any credit card information into a Zoho form because it is not built for that. All right, so here we have rules. Rules are basically, um, they control which fields uh, come up whenever certain answers are given so that you can kind of control the form. And then also there are form rules where if someone completes a form, let's say if the email address ends in at yahoo.com, then you redirect them to a different URL or something like that. And then you have page rules. So if you have multiple pages, it says you have to have a minimum of three pages, then you'd be able to go in and create page rules. But let's go ahead and, and do a field rule. But first, we're gonna go back to the builder this will be just our fun little thing that we do in this tutorial. So let's add, let's do a drop down. And in that drop down, we're going to call it preferred. Method of contact. And then we're going to have email, text, phone call. Okay, and then we're going to have a field for the email address, we already have that, a field for phone number. And we're going to make that mandatory. Both of these will be mandatory. So what we're going to do is based on their answer here, we will make them enter whichever one it is that we'll need, which is email or phone number. And we're going to save this. Then once we go over to the rules, section will configure and we'll say if the preferred method of contact is email then we're going to show you have some other options here but show the email field that's rule number one then we're going to add another rule that says if the preferred method of contact is you've got other options here if it's text there we go or phone call. Then we're going to show the phone number. All right. These automatically save as you're working on your forms. All right, we're going to check out that form on the front end in just a second after we go through a few more of these settings. So under settings, you've got the general section. This is the basics, right? Whether or not you want to show the form header, the text direction, the submit button, if you want to change the name of that to something else, the date format that you'd like to use, time zone, so on, all right? A lot of this is self-explanatory, whether you want to use CAPTCHA or not, all right? The section I really want to talk about is one of the sections I want to talk about are the redirects. This is the thank you page that is the default. You can change the text. You can change it to rich text and do some, you know, fancy bolding and underlining and changing colors. Or you can redirect to a page that you've created on your website. All right? You can um, enter a URL here. 
and then um, choose for it to open in the same window, a new window, or a parent window. Email notifications are basically where you can have a response come to you or to the person who filled out the form and we'll send them an email. We won't go through a lot of these, but let's go ahead and talk about the double opt-in. That is where you will um, make the person who completed the form have to go to their email, check their email, and basically um, confirm that they have completed the form or that they have subscribed or whatever the case is. And then custom messages is where you can <clears throat> change what the fields say as far as the the message that's inside of the field. So enter a value for this field, you can change it to something different. So you can customize a few of those, okay? All right, so now let's go to themes. Themes is where you can change the look and the fill of your form. Um, right now there are, let's see, we've got a few, themes that are available automatically to you, but then you can also create and customize your own themes. If you look here, I've created a theme that I called SFS Demo Theme, and that's basically the one that I'm using right now. You can customize the form here. Now, I won't go into the details on this. I will probably do a training to go through all of the different types or different parts. Um, there's There are a lot of different pieces to a form, so you have to go into each one and then make adjustments as you see fit all right and then share is where you can share the form via a link you can shorten the URL and use a shorter link you can track referrals you can pre-fill form fields by adding the field value or the short code for the field value you can share on social media and you can share with the public or specific users or all and then you have um, the ability to embed on websites. You can use the iframe code here. You've got JavaScript, hyperlink. You've got a QR code that you can also download and HTML and CSS. And then you've got Zoho sites here and then WordPress, right? So website builders. All right, so we won't go into too much more detail. You do have Zoho campaigns here and MailChimp here as options. The integration section will allow you to integrate whatever information is input into this form into any of these tools right any of these software tools so you've got Zoho CRM you've got big in by Zoho CRM and then you've got a lot of other Zoho tools in addition to Google Sheets and then you can create web hooks you've got Salesforce and then so on right now this is what we specialize in it gets a little technical sometimes so if you need help with integration feel free to let us know we usually um, help our clients by doing all of the integration and all of the technical stuff for them the approval section will allow you to set up approval process so that you can make sure that whatever forms are coming in have real data everything looks good if you need approver set up you can do that you can see here I've got John um, from my fictitious company here he's the approver these are the fields he have the ability to read them I can give him a different type of access so that he could read or write so he can make changes and so this is this is an option you can do more than one level this is the admin level you can do another level here and so on so you can either enable or disable this process and then you can make changes to the settings here all right guys so let's go and look at the form from the front end and then we're going to check the entries on the back end so let's create Now we will check out our form from the front end. So we'll access the form here. We're going to create an entry. And remember, our preferred method of contact will give us different options based on whichever option we choose. So email gives us email. Text gives us the phone number.
and here's that default page I was telling you about. It's just, you know, the out of the box default page. So we'll go in and look at our entries. So here you have the option to look at all entries, reports, settings, analytics, audit. We're going to go to entries and we'll see Jack Jackson here. Right, and the information we just input and then we can also see that it is pending approval from John because remember we set the process up so that John will have to approve everything before and let's say we had an integration set up also before it goes into the CRM he would be able to approve or reject the data all right guys so that is Zoho forms um, that's just a little sneak peek in just wanted to explore it with you guys if you want help integrating or doing any type of um, Zoho customization at all our team can definitely help that's what we specialize in that's what we thoroughly enjoy and we also enjoy putting together process to streamline all of your processes so whether they be for financial your financial process marketing process you know email drip campaigns all of the sort we can help with that so drop drop any questions in the comments and or you can visit us online at successfulsolutions.com